Hey everyone, it's Mikey Chan. Let me ask you all a question. What do you think is more frightening, a scary movie or a scary book? I would say book because our imagination really knows no bounds and uh, we can conjure up things in our heads that are way creepier than anything special effects can produce. I think the same goes for sounds. I mean, have you ever walked alone at night somewhere where uh, just laying in bed and then you hear something and it could be just a wind or a mouse, but uh, in your mind, you think Jason Voorhees just whispered your name and is now coming after you. But you know what? Maybe he was coming after you and luckily you were wearing a very special sweater. Anyway, it was really interesting working on this video because it really did make my imagination go a bit wild when I was listening to some of these sounds. So here are some of the strangest sounds from around the world that we really can't explain. Number one, trumpets in the sky. This is a really interesting slash creepy phenomenon that has baffled people from all over the world. A loud, mysterious noise that sounds literally like the aliens from uh, War of the Worlds. A number of people have filmed this bizarre sound over the past 10 years, with the first recording coming from Belarus and the latest coming from Germany. The sound has also been recorded from Canada to Ukraine. So here's the sound from War of the Worlds. Now here's the recording made of this strange sound from all over the world. That's creepy, right? So far, no one knows what this sound is, and uh, NASA's best guess is that the noise could be the Earth's background noise. NASA said Earth's background noises are sounds that we would be able to hear if we had uh, radio antennas instead of ears. Well, uh, we definitely don't have radio antennas, so this explanation sounds a bit stretched. Other theories people have come up with include Gabriel's trumpet signaling the coming of the apocalypse, harp, as well as the gates of hell opening up. Number to bloop. In 1997, an extremely powerful ultra-low frequency sound lasting about a minute was detected at many listening stations thousands of miles apart and was traced to somewhere west of the southern tip of South America. The sound was heard repeatedly over the summer, but not since. It was one of numerous strange sounds that had been picked up by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, or NOAA, over the years. When it was discovered, researchers named the sound the bloop after the silly little bloopy sound it made when they sped it up 16 times faster and uh, released it to the public. Although the eerie sound was explained by Noah as the cracking of the ice in the Antarctic when ice quake hits, there are still some biologists and even scientists within Noah that have concluded that the noise didn't come from any ice quake, but rather some type of massive unidentified organism. That's where things get a little crazy because if an animal was the source of the bloop, it would have to be much larger than a blue whale, which is the largest and loudest of all known animals. But as I mentioned many times on the show before, over 95% of the ocean is still unexplored. So maybe there is something much larger than a blue whale lurking beneath the waters making this strange bloopy noise. So when it comes to the bloop, I think the mystery hasn't really been solved, and the idea that it was icebergs is still inconclusive, even if it is the preferred scientific answer. Anyway, have a listen to the bloop yourself and let me know what you think it might be. Number three, skyquakes. Skyquakes have been a fairly well-known but still mysterious phenomenon for a while now. Even the Lewis and Clark expedition witnessed this on July 4th, 1808 while exploring the Rocky Mountains and made this following entry. Since our arrival at the falls, we have repeatedly heard a strange noise coming from the mountains in a direction a little to the north of west. It is heard at different periods of the day and night, sometimes when the air is perfectly still and without a cloud. And 
consists of one stroke only or five or six discharges in quick succession. It is loud and resembles precisely the sound of a six pound piece of ordnance at a distance of three miles. Sky quakes seem to come out of nowhere and uh, sounds kind of like muffled thunder when there's no clouds in the sky or have been described as cannon fire. They seem to occur randomly all around the world. Although researchers speculate these sky quakes are related to earthquakes, they cannot explain why the noises are heard in some places and not others. Some other explanations given to this phenomenon include meteors entering the atmosphere causing sonic booms, gas escaping from vents in the Earth's surface, and uh, even parallel universes colliding together. Number four, the hum. Imagine one day you start uh, hearing an annoying low frequency humming, throbbing, or rumbling sound, and uh, yeah, it never goes away. If this happened to you, then you are among only about 2% of the people living in any given hum prone area that can hear this sound. So it's like the worst lottery ever. The hum can be heard in places such as Taos, New Mexico, Bristol, England, and Largs, Scotland. Generally, the hum is only heard indoors and it's louder at night than during the day. It's also more common in rural or suburban environments. Most of the people who hear the hum describe the sound as similar to a diesel engine idling nearby. And basically, this sound is driving all of them insane. Sufferers complain of headaches, nausea, dizziness, nosebleeds, and of course, sleep disturbances. A variety of theories have been offered as an explanation from the psychological to the paranormal, such as high pressure gas lines, low frequency electromagnetic radiation, stoned hippies, secret government mind control experiments, I like that one, underground UFO bases, and uh, everything in between. But to this day, no one knows for sure what is exactly causing this strange phenomenon. Personally, what I don't understand is uh, if this thing is driving people crazy but it's only restricted to certain parts of the earth, uh, then why don't people just move? Number five, electronic voice phenomenon. Electronic voice phenomenon, or EVP, are sounds that are caught on audio recorders that could not be heard during their recording. Sometimes these sounds are strange and identifiable, but sometimes they are clearly voices. The question is, uh, where are these voices coming from? One of the earlier references to this phenomenon comes from an interview with Thomas Edison in Scientific American, in which Edison said it is possible to construct an apparatus which will be so delicate that if there are personalities in another existence or sphere who wish to get in touch with us in this existence or sphere, this apparatus will at least give them a better opportunity to express themselves than the tilting tables and wraps and the Ouija boards and mediums in the other crude methods now purported to be the only means of communication. Skeptics say that EVPs are interferences from radio waves, CBs, walkie-talkies, cell phones, or a great number of other electronic devices. They also say that sometimes people are just hearing things that just aren't there. But there are EVP recordings that are much harder to explain. For example, sometimes the sounds are unmistakably words and sometimes they are in response to a very pointed question. There are a ton of EVP recordings out there, so I did not include any in this video because uh, I find them pretty much terrifying. So if you want to hear them and uh, possibly never sleep again, then uh, yeah, do a Google search. Personally, I think EVPs are extremely real. I remember growing up and uh, seeing an episode about this on Unsolved Mysteries, one of my favorite shows ever, and that was literally the creepiest thing I ever heard in my life. But honestly, things like Ouija boards, EVPs, anything to do with uh, contacting the dead. I'm not a big fan of because uh, these things are scary. I mean, I get that some people want to reach out to maybe a loved one who was just lost, but uh, what's the point of trying to talk to random ghosts? And now you got all these people recording ghost voices so they can be on TV, but uh, what if you're asking them a question in, say, a haunted insane asylum? and get a response back that says, I'm going to kill you. And then that spirit just follows you home and then kills you in the creepiest way possible by possessing your stuffed teddy bear and dragging you under your bed and stabbing you with a kitchen knife. But hey, on the bright side, maybe a few years later, a movie will come out based on your story. So lose win. All right, guys, let me know what you think these sounds are in the comments below. And don't forget, you can catch an early access video of my um, vessel. Uh, the link is in the description box below for a one month free trial. Thank you so much for watching everybody. See you later.